We're in TDD mode with the code on the left, the test against that code on the right, and our visual testing on the bottom keeping us productive. We'll start by deleting a couple of lines that aren't needed anymore. Save and my test pass. Let's make our uh, component a little bit more interactive, a little bit more dynamic by passing in a value for the label. We'll start, instead of writing a test, let's start with writing some code. And I'm going to return hello react. Uh, IDE warns me that this is unused. That's okay. We're about to get to that. And when I save, uh, no difference in the testing because nothing has changed for what the test is complete. Here I'll come in and say, I'll use that method. I see that the IDE is helping me on that. Again, no change. Um, let's go ahead and add a test that tests that method. Here's my test. It generates a label. The test makes an instance of app and then calls a method on it and expects the output to be this string. The ID helped me along the way on autocomplete and giving me these little labels to tell me what arguments are expected. And when I save, I see that my test runs because my code works fine. What's nice about this test is it doesn't use any of the React component machinery, just TypeScript, class, instances, super fast. Um, we'll go ahead and make the test fail by passing in an argument and expecting the label to be uppercase and then the same for our previous test. And I, before I even run my test, I see that I failed because TypeScript is telling me I passed in an argument that wasn't expected in my implementation. Fail faster. That's one of the things TypeScript helps bring. And then the IDE visualizes that. So when I save, I see that my uh, tests now fail. Let's go ahead and start the implementation of this. This component needs to pass in a value. And then the IDE warns us we're passing in an argument that wasn't expected. So I'll put name here. And I'll use the IDE to replace this with the template string. And then take this, put the value in, capitalize it, and save. And now we have a return value that takes an argument and passes it in. So the test passed, but the TypeScript compiler is unhappy. We have an argument without a uh, type on it. The IDE helps us on that, use a quick fix to infer the type and put it into the argument. This is all working fine, but let's say that we do something in a test that we don't quite understand why it fails. I'm going to pass in an integer. Sure, the TypeScript compiler tells me exactly what the error is, but perhaps I'm confused. I'm going to set a breakpoint on that line. I'm going to run this, but I'm going to run it under the Node.js debugger which will fire up the TypeScript, fire up the JS, do all the work to run just this one test. But when it gets to this line where the breakpoint is, it will stop on that breakpoint and let us poke around. I see I have something called A. It is a instance of an object, uh, the class app. And I see that I want to go ahead and step into this. And I go into the label method I get to see the values and I immediately see the problem. I got a value 42, which is a number, but just in case I want to poke around a little bit more, I can say name and see what it is. I can run a method on it. Oh goodness, I'm trying to do a string operation on a number. So in this case, it's much better than console.log this, console.log that. I use a visual debugger combined with visual testing to be more productive in TDD. I'll clean up, I'll shut down the debugger, close that tab, remove the breakpoint, put this back to the way it was, bring back the run tool, and when I save, all my tests should pass and I'm in good shape.